Thank you so much for the time today. No, not at all. Thank How you. are you today? This is a big week for you. It is. Uh, so far, I'm, I'm keeping a lid on it. Um, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. But uh, generally, I'm, on a, I'm feeling good. Well, you know, speaking about your character and this journey, I've only seen about the first four episodes so far, mm -hmm. but the journey is amazing. What was it like stepping into his shoes? Because, you know, you get a lot of cool stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, it was great. I mean, it's uh, a, a, a character like that is a gift for an actor because, and as they said to me when I had the meeting with them and they finally said, you know, you have the gig, that there was so much to him. There was so much to uh, explore in his character that he is an ambitious man, but he's also a loving husband to his wife, in fact. It's one of the few relationships, if not the only relationship in the season, which is actually a healthy, hmm. loving relationship. Um, so yeah, it was great. There was plenty to, uh, to sink my teeth into. Did you have uh, a first moment stepping into the role that you're like, this is huge? Like, I I'm assuming stepping on set must have been a, a big first day, but was there something in particular that was like, this feels massive. <laughs> uh, you know what, I think, yes, that happened later on in the shooting, because the very first thing that we shot, the very first thing that we shot in the whole season, was actually a scene between myself and Eve Best, who plays my wife. Right. But it was a very small emotional scene. Hmm. So of course, you know, you're walking through the set, you kind of go, oh yeah, I know how to do this and how to act, I'm looking into another actor's eyes and hmm. so forth. But we had to do a scene later on, which was in the throne room where the Iron Throne is. Right. And then you go, oh, wow, how much money is there in the world? Because it's huge. Hmm. It's huge pillars with statues on them. Uh, all the extras around there, make, you know, forming this crowd. That's a moment when you think, oh, yeah, yeah, hmm. this, this, is, this is a big deal. Yeah. How would you describe his motivation? What is it that is driving him when we first meet him? Um, I think... One of the things that he is concerned about is legacy. Hmm. Uh, he's concerned about having his family name go down in history, have its rightful place in history as far hmm. as he's concerned. One of the things that we discussed when I first met uh, Miguel and Ryan, our co-showrunners, right. we didn't discuss the fact that he was a warrior, hmm. the fact that he was a nautical explorer, any of those things, a master of the tides. We discussed the fact that he was a father. Hmm. He wants the best for his family. He doesn't always go about it the right way. He has his very strong ideas about what's right for them. He never asks his children, you know, what do you want? He's, that's not who he is. Right. But that was the, the motivation for him, the idea that I'm going to, if I can't get my wife who was passed over for the throne, hmm. who clearly, as far as my character is concerned, was well equipped to be the monarch, but just lost out because she's a woman. Right. If I can't get her on the throne, then I'm going to get my family as close to the throne, as close to power as I possibly can. And that's hmm. kind of the motor for him for most of this season, most of the season. And I love that that is one of the big discussion points for the whole series so far, is that, you know, why can't the queen be the next leader, basically? Why can't the princess become the next leader, and so on? Absolutely. And is that, um, I guess, getting the chance to play opposite this amazing cast, uh, I guess, for starters, did you have a favorite scene partner? Is there someone in particular? <laughs> I don't. I know that's hard to say, but yeah, I know it, it is difficult. But I can. My gut response is always it was Eve, mm -hmm. uh, because we had some of the some great intimate scenes. Mm -hmm. I think with his wife is when you see who he really is when he lets down the guard. Because a lot of the time in the small council scenes, right. he's very, you know, very stern and and so forth. We see a slightly. No, I haven't seen this, the episodes, but when we played them. There are slightly playful moments between the two of them, which gives you an idea of a very rounded hmm. relationship. So Eve would be number one, and she's just such a great actress. Uh, but I also have a lovely scene, uh, well, it was lovely to do, with Matt. Yes. Uh, which I enjoyed doing, I haven't seen it yet. And there were some lovely things that I got to do one-on-one -on -one with Paddy as oh, well, nice. thank the king, so. But yeah, Eve's number one. I have to say, seeing uh, the moments with Matt Smith and what he's done in this role, mm. it, is, it is almost shocking. I mean, as a Doctor Who fan, too, right. like, it, it's really mesmerizing to yeah. see him in this role, and it's, it's got so much going on. Yeah, <laughs> he, 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 tends, he's, he plays dark, 
very well, very, yes. very well. Enough for us to be concerned about you. Right? I, I think if I, <laughs> if I ever do get to meet him, I'm, I'm going to be a little more cautious, maybe. <laughs> so in terms of the actual filming, you do have a couple of big scenes without giving away any spoilers. Um, what is it like getting into the action for this series? Because some of it is huge. Um, again, now, okay, so for the particular scene I think you're referring to, we spent a lot of time um, rehearsing with the stunt team. Mm -hmm. What would happen is they would work out their choreography, they would shoot it as a sort of previs, show me, hmm. and then we would work out the choreography. Interesting. So for weeks, I would go to this mock-up gym that they had on the stadium and have my huge weapon and basically move, do these moves. Hmm. The problem was, once we got to actually shoot the scene, I'm wearing the armor, I've got the helmet on. Right. There is smoke everywhere. We're on sand. <laughs> and the stuntmen aren't coming at me like they were supposed to be coming at me in a nice, neat line. Oh, my God. You know, they're coming from all over. <laughs> Suddenly, it felt like I was going, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> if it looks good, that's, that's testament to the director, Greg, and to the editors. It looks amazing. Good. <laughs> uh, I mean, so the other thing is, too, what is it like wearing this wig? Because it is, it looks phenomenal, but it must be difficult. Um, or is it not? It wasn't that difficult, to be That's honest. That's amazing. Um, yeah, it wasn't as heavy as it looks. People often think it, really? it, was, it was heavy. No, it's quite light. Um, and of course, most of the time you see it, it's always tied in some way. Right. So very rarely was it a, a real issue. I think there are maybe a one or two scenes uh, where I've woken up in the morning or whatever it is where it's a bit more right. loose. I wanted to have a few more scenes where it was loose, but they were just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it wasn't too bad, actually. The no. hardest part, in fact, was the actual the armor stuff, which of course is not metal, but it's still no. something quite hard. Right. Uh, like a hard, I don't know, plastic or something. Huh. And that was a little bit uh, uncomfortable. But, you know, I wore it for the, a few battle scenes and that's it, whereas people like Fabian and Graham, they're wearing it all the time. And, right. And they used to complain constantly about how it was digging into their shoulders. Well, it must be hot, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can only keep a set so cool. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. You know, in terms of stepping into Game of Thrones, did you have much, you know, knowledge of this universe, or, or did you watch the original series or anything, or how, what was your perspective? No, I did. I, I was a fan. Yeah. Um, now, I wasn't a fan from the beginning, because it's not really a genre that I go, uh, is my go-to. So when, when they did the first two seasons, maybe the third, and I was hearing about this stuff with dragons, I was just like, why, why, why? <laughs> and then I had a friend who basically, um, it basically coerced me into watching the first episode, <laughs> and then I was hooked. So I had wanted to be a part of it, um, uh, but, but couldn't. I think I, I auditioned once for it, hmm. didn't get it. Met somebody who had done uh, a, a now-discarded pilot of another offshoot, hmm. and I had said to her, oh, God, I'd love to be in that show. She said, oh, when it goes, there's so many parts, you'll be fine. And then th that didn't happen. They hmm. didn't go with that. So I was kind of like, oh, well, it was a great show. And, my time has passed, <laughs> and then here we are. It's yeah. amazing. Mm. The last thing I want to know is in terms of working on the series and and this character, and you know, not knowing where things end in the first season. Mm. I mean, if, if we can get a second season with him, what do you? Is there something you still hope you get to do with him that you maybe haven't gotten a chance to do yet? Um. Well, I. I'm not going to answer that question. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will cross my fingers that we're going to see some, some cool stuff, maybe second season as well. Um, you know, otherwise, thank you very much for the time. I really appreciate Great. it. Thank you. It was very enjoyable. Thank you.